Pro Bowl roster is released, and it is Armageddon. Everybody is up in arms. They're upset. The snubs. Oh, my goodness. Christian McCaffrey deserves to be in there. How's Tom Brady in there? How did Aaron Rodgers get in there? The snubs for a game that nobody wants to play in. And why not wait for two more regular season games before we announce this? I guess. So we'll talk about it now. But do you want us talking about, you know, a a, a selection process that is flawed or that nobody cares about or a game that nobody cares about? Because every year... It, it feels like we go through this and somebody got snubbed. And I still want, if you're going to have an all-snub team, tell me who you're taking out. You know, can I, can I look at this and say Christian McCaffrey deserves to be in the Pro Bowl? Yeah, he does. But he's not better than the three running backs who went in ahead of him. That's all. So was he snubbed? No, he was not snubbed. They take three running backs. He's not one of the three. You didn't get snubbed. Tell me who he's better than this year. Saquon Barkley? Maybe. But if that's who you're taking out and putting McCaffrey in, okay, then we can have a discussion on that. Ezekiel Elliott? Todd Gurley? Now, you can look at Tom Brady, and, you know, we talked to Tom Kern, who covers the Patriots. He said, you know, that Brady would tell you that he's not had a Pro Bowl season. And he's right. He is not. Aaron Rodgers has great stats, at least touchdown to interception, that, that ratio is unbelievable again. But he's not a Pro Bowl quarterback. Brady selected to his 14th Pro Bowl. That's tied for most in NFL history. How many of those has he played in, McLovin? Could you find out I how I think ma- it's two, but okay. I'll double check. Okay. He's tied with Peyton Manning, Tony Gonzalez, Bruce Matthews, and Merlin Olsen. It was also Brady's 10th consecutive Pro Bowl selection, the longest active streak among all players. But I don't think Tom really cares about getting in. Uh, Did Jared Goff deserve to get in over Russell Wilson Jr. the third? Yeah. I think the uh, first part of the season, yeah, he was an MVP candidate. Uh, That's why I would love for these last two games to factor in. Because I want to know if Russell Wilson is going to do what we expect him to do. Can Jared Goff you know, get better here in these next two games going into the playoffs. That That's really important here. And I do believe when you're looking at the AFC West, Phillip Rivers and Patrick Mahomes, they're all pros. They're Pro Bowl quarterbacks. The, the ones that people care about, the players care about being an all pro because an all pro can get you into the Hall of Fame. Pro Bowl doesn't necessarily get you into the Hall of Fame. But if I say, you know, somebody was first team all pro five times, that can get you into the Hall of Fame. If you went to five Pro Bowls, that doesn't mean you're getting into the Hall of Fame. Plus, do you get credit? Let's say Ezekiel Elliott bows out, doesn't want to play in the Pro Bowl. Does he get credit for being a Pro Bowler? What if Christian McCaffrey gets in, but then decides he doesn't want to play? Does he get credit for being an alternate to play in the Pro Bowl, McLevin? And how does this factor into incentive bonuses for these players. Well, we know that if you're named to the Pro Bowl and you don't show up, you get credit because Tom Brady's a 14-time Pro Bowler. I haven't confirmed, but he barely goes. That is the question. If you're an alternate and you don't go, because I feel like my guy Andy Dalton was like the eighth quarterback one thing and did not get credit because he couldn't go because he hurt his hand. So I think the replacements have to go. I'm going to double-check that. Okay. By the way, a couple other snubs. Can I throw them? I know you said you didn't want to do snubs. I've seen Leighton Van Der Esch as an intriguing Okay, but, snub. but who are you taking out? Okay. I'm Not right. everybody can make the team. That's the point of this. So when everybody gets up in arms over these snubs, who are you taking out? Whoa, he's got to beat out. Because then he wasn't then he wasn't snubbed. He's had a great season for Dallas. Wonderful season. But did he get snubbed? I mean, the guys ahead of him, they're okay players, but Bobby Wagner and Luke Keekley, are they going? I mean, are they? About Bobby Wagner's a better football player. I'm just kidding. They're two surefire Hall of Famers. Yeah, yeah. Bob, <laughs> yeah. Bobby Wagner is, <laughs> yeah. is a great player. This story says the only problem with Van Der Esch is he's behind two of the greatest linebackers in NFL history. In this, gen- in this generation, yes. Brady's gone to two Pro Bowls, hasn't gone in 13 years. Yeah, he's not going this year either. Usually it's because the Patriots are still alive. I don't know if that happens this year. Yeah, it's not. It's a meaningless game. It's filler. That's all it is. 
Who won last year? You know what the highlight was last year? Drew Brees' kids wrestling on the sidelines. If, if they're fighting on the sidelines, then I'm going to watch. But nobody cared about that Pro Bowl. All pro, that's where you can have snubs. That's where you can have a really solid debate there. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.